Hey YouTube, it's American Airsoft, and I have a video to show you how to uh, adjust the motor on the Crossman Plus 76. So basically, what you're going uh, to need to do is uh, you are going to need your gun, um, and I'll show you your gun. I'll show you what happens when you need to adjust it. This is the noise it makes. It makes like a grinding noise. Uh, it's not really that bad, but if you don't like uh, fix it, it could break. So I advise that you fix it. But what you're first gonna do is gonna hold the mag release. It's right here. Eject the magazine. Make sure all the BBs are out of the gun. Fire it like twice. Put your unjamming rod in. And then just make sure that no BBs are in it. So once you're done with that, you're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver. And on the handle, there is that screw right there. So you're going to unscrew it. And then you have the choice of just adjusting without taking the grip off. But I like taking off the grip. So you're just going to like slide it off like that. And you'll see that you can still fire the thing and it makes an even worse grinding noise. So uh, you flip the gun over. And you can see it's a Japanese motor. So what you're going to need to adjust the motor is your Allen wrench that came with the, the gun, that like L-shaped tool. What you're gonna do is, where that screw was, you're gonna shove the curved part in, like right there, and then you're gonna twist it till you hear like a difference. So, little more. A little more. You don't want it too loose, but you don't want it too tight. So once you do that, make sure uh, you gotta make sure it's just tight, but not too tight. So um, so you're basically gonna have it like um, it sounds different on the motor because it's like it's not moved or anything but i think you can buy extra motors that are more like high powered and like more better for the gun that are a lot more powerful like that junk and stuff but now that i now that i have it and to the point i want what you're gonna do is pull the key out you just like slide it up then you're going to oh wait one thing I forgot to put the key in it doesn't matter which way but if you lo lost this key uh, they sell replacements like for actual tools you have to make sure you hear it like click in so it like locks in um basically it just locks in easily you might have to push down a little bit but then what you're gonna do is make sure none of the wires get stripped or anything. You're gonna put the uh, grip on the back how it's supposed to be. Make sure it's nice and snug. Uh, but the thing is, what I don't like about taking the grip off, since the wires are all there, it's harder to put it back on. So like, uh, you gotta make sure it's like nice and snug. But you gotta make sure. So like. And you gotta make sure it fits. So if it doesn't, that means you put your wires back in wrong. Um, but it it's taking me a long time actually. I don't know why. Usually it takes me like um, not even ten seconds. Uh, it's not agreeing with me today. Okay. Uh, okay. There's the problem. Um, I don't know if this is actually built part of the gun, but as you can see, 
in that black place there's a little slot where you can put one of the wires and I put the black one like that so it just slides in and then you're just gonna slide this back on and if it's not gonna work I'll probably have to work on it a little later but it should work this time okay you need to make sure oh here it goes once you do that you'll hear it like clicking can't lose this screw it's really small um but if you didn't want to uh adjust it by taking the thing off you just shove it in there because there's a hole but then you're gonna screw back the gun screw it back in make it tight put your battery in and then you can screw it in make sure you don't strip the head of the thing then you push your magazine back in um i just noticed something uh sometimes this magazine thing if it doesn't allow you it's kind of i think it's a safety mechanism you gotta push on it because it locks back sometimes you gotta push on it a little bit and then <clears throat> You're ready to fire, so um, let's just make sure it fires. And then on full auto. So that's basically, it's basically back to normal. Now, um, I'm happy I fixed it, but now that I did, um, we had it rate and subscribe. Thanks.